After several months of silence, the World Cup season has been rescheduled and it's now time for Maxime to get back into racing with one of the most condensed seasons ever. I think I didn't realize um, when I was spinning on the rollers just before the first short track that I was waiting for that long. I mean, uh, I was just focused on the race, not really too much thinking about uh, this crazy year and what happened, just focused on my performance. Uh, usually when we are racing World Cup back to back, uh, it's uh, one week for World Cup and then we move on on a, on a new spot for another World Cup, but this time we stay all the week in the same place, but for two World Cups. So that means uh, we have two short track and two uh, XCO in the same week. That never happened before. Uh, it's so demanding, so intense, we just have to recover from the different efforts. We were close to not race at all this year. So finally to have four races in a week is just a crazy good thing. All riders on the start line, one minute to start, over. All boys in lead group, Max looks good, Manny looks good. The start of the short track was a releasing for everybody. Finally, uh, the lions are out. <laughs> Grabbing a third place, uh, I mean, on a short track is already a great performance because when the conditions are cold like this, sometimes I struggle to deliver. Des fois, je suis complètement rôti à l'arrivée dans ouais. le short track. Ouais. Et là, je me sens pas spécialement cramé, tu vois. Ouais. <rire> <rire> Nové Mesto is uh, one of the most challenging track of the year because it's uh, full of routes. It's really bumpy, rough, technical. Um, I think if you win in Nové Mesto, you are definitely a proper mountain biker. You know, everybody is committed to enter the grass. You are committed. It's not okay, my God, I need to... <laughs> to handle the bar really hard, you know? And then you like this, and for whatever reason, the bar is doing like that. <laughs> so there is foot out and stuff, but... We are back racing, and we have three guys in the top 12. So let's just keep the work up in the way we do, and um, I think it's gonna come up just by itself. The rest day is, uh, is something a bit special because you still need to stay focused, committed, doing a good recovery. And in the same time, the brain needs to chill a little bit, not overthinking about the rest. I just like the, the way uh, we race. We race hard, but uh, with a lot of respect. We cross the finish line and, uh, I mean, if he beats me, that means he was stronger than me. For example, the second place of Victor, and uh, there is no reason to not speak, to not go for, for a coffee with him and talking about something else or whatever. It, it's just part of the culture of mountain bike. I always had really great times with, uh, with, with my opponent. Okay, going down now. Left. Everyone has a role and uh, playing his role really nicely at the right time. So we have the physio, we have uh, the team manager, the, the coach. Yeah, it's just a few things that we are doing, maybe more than the others, that uh, help us uh, really a lot. All these people around um, are doing a massive job. It, it's a big machine, it's a big group, and um, everybody knows uh, what he has to do. Uh, I mean, the riders, the staff, everybody is committed. Can you just run through what we saw? Okay, start line. This is yesterday morning after a night of rain. I don't know if you noticed like the left hand, but if you come really fast on the inside, it's quite hard to set yourself up quite high to get the left real nice. Yeah. That's the inside, so it pushes you into the... I, I mean, I'm not saying it's right or wrong, again, but I think just try the berm to see if you can set up nicer or carry speed more. Or... It's 
three is super E anyway, but uh, yes. they could go to one one five. Yeah. Just to give you a little bit more grip in yeah. the front. You think it's gonna rain again or? Weather forecast is at some point, but then mine's kind of being good on that. I can't believe even now how much I, I was stressed back in the days. I mean, I, I almost I, I couldn't sleep, or I was sitting down before the race. My heartbeat was already uh, through the roof. I just got used to it, and I just trained also my brain to make this better. Pressure is part of the sport, especially these moments. The, the pressure goes really high. I would say both Maxi and Henry are looking good. Still has to go. Super close. Maxi can win. Henry can make podium. Coming into Rock Garden now. Andre has to win. Mahat in two, six seconds down. Good job, Chris. Good job. Happy day. When I crossed that line on the second position, um, the feeling was in between, I would say. I was so happy to deliver a great performance because second in the World Cup, even if I had a lot of podiums in my career, uh, it's still something really huge, especially when you are really close from the win. But in the same time, I was thinking, OK, I, uh, I missed again the, um, the, 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 the Holy Grail. In the end, it's, it's a good place. I need to, to enjoy the second place. I'm a bit struggling now, but I, I need to think about all the work behind and uh, everything we already achieved. It's still a second place on a World Cup. Unfortunately, there is no overall ranking. No. Because normally, I think I get the jersey. And I was just thinking about, OK, the guys who were in the front of me didn't really perform. Uh, and the only one in front of me on the XEO wasn't there in the short track. And then I was thinking, OK, so I should have the, the leader jersey. But this is a special year, so no jersey this year, unfortunately. I mean, the team made me made the jersey for me, and that was really nice and funny at the same time. Man, just super proud of you guys, and uh, just shows again how strong we are as a as a team. Two things changing, but the the true lives are still delivering. You know, <laughs> it's still the best team. There were really small things, details are uh, going to pay off. Uh, we are not far off, the three of us, and. Uh, Still believe that Friday and Sunday um, we're gonna we're gonna collect some really big things. <laughs> uh, thanks again, everyone, for the support. Please, we go again tomorrow and uh, we race out again. On a race day, we wake up, breakfast, activation. We go for a quick spin. We eat again, pre-race meal, and then we go into the the warm-up and racing. Not making a move. The field is very compact at the minute. My lot's crashed, my lot's on the floor. Kaiser. I was disappointed for sure because I wanted to do another podium and I think I had the legs for. Yeah, it's just race incident, but f me, I was. I was in a good place. The placement you can get into the bunch is really important. I made a mistake. I was on the wrong side of the track. I should have been on, on left to be able to overtake. Everyone may make mistakes in, in a race like this. I always believe that um, uh, after the storm comes the blue sky and uh, I, can, I can still make it. This vibe uh, is deep into me. I really want to try to, to do my best. My best skills is probably how I can dig deep, how I can suffer on a bike. I think this is what brings me to where I am. Because when I was a kid, I wasn't the best, but I always, was always believing that I can still go deeper and deeper and deeper in terms of uh, pain. And sometimes during the race, I'm just saying to myself, Jesus, it hurts a lot. <laughs> it hurts a lot. I think this is what brings me to the top. And we go back to the routine race day again. Breakfast, activation, easy spin on the road, warm up, racing. In performance, routine is, is really key. Maxi 18 seconds off the front group. Aventini looking really good. Maxi on 10 is working really hard, doesn't look too good to be honest. 
I was committed 100%. I suffered so much. I tried everything I can, uh, but that wasn't my day. We always see um, the greatest of the sport that are performing every race, but uh, in the bunch it's a bit different. Uh, we have uh, up and downs. Today wasn't really a big down because uh, 11th place is, uh, is something great on a World Cup, but uh, this is not where I expected to be. I was also, yeah, of course, happy for the team because we were looking for that win for a long time. I really wanted to be the first one to, to do it, uh, but uh, Enrique is also uh, a big horse and uh, today he just delivered uh, crazy good. Sometimes it's not easy to enjoy the place of your mate because in the same time you are a bit disappointed. Uh, but you have to, you are racing as a team. Just a crazy good day for, for the team. In a, in a short period of time, uh, we are living crazy different emotions. But in the end, this is not really different from a normal life. The emotions are just a bit more concentrated than, uh, than what we have in life. So I think we can all be very, very, very proud. Massive achievement from everybody. This is a race to remember, I think, in mountain bike history because seven people fighting in the same time uh, on the same sprint, I think, mm, but I never seen that. <coughs> so I think it's great for the sport, really. And it's even better when, uh, if it's you in the front. And I think this week is also a good example of what it can be. A small piece that doesn't work and, uh, and the race is not going the, the way you want. It's a proper roller coaster and it's, this is really addictive and uh, it makes the, the big day uh, something really special, something different and the, the adrenaline rush you get uh, when you deliver on a, on a big goal is just crazy good and uh, you can't compare to anything else.